So how long the post bottom? The post bottom will probably take yeah. about six to seven hours. Six to seven hours. Uh, six to seven hours. Because but it can be done uh, and completed by the day. Okay. Then after that, uh, the body can be released to the parents. But the results will not be out until maybe about uh, two months time, because the tissue sample have to be uh, sent for uh, investigation, and then we have to find out what are the results are from the tissue. So the doctor we can prepare a report, but he will not put the cause of death until he has obtained the results of the tissues, uh, tissue samples. Okay. So Mr. Chai is a lawyer. He's uh, representing the family of the deceased. And he will be with uh, the. Uh, uh, he will be present during the conduct of the second postmortem, okay, for the entire duration. Right. So the postmortem will start very soon. So the body is identified. Yeah. Yes, identified by the parents. <laughs> The post mortem is pretty thin, jungle, the limit of your life. You are ready to play Pantama, you are ready to play. Well, basically, we, the, we have a family that is not satisfied with the cause of death. And the cause of death was uh, told to the family by word of mouth. Until today, we have no post-mortem report. Okay? So, obviously, the circumstances under which the person uh, died are very suspect. You know? He was kept for, in the police custody for 81 days. You know? And while he was there, he was told, uh, he was told that he was perfectly healthy and nothing wrong with him. You know, so they bring him to the hospital and two days later he becomes a cadaver. So what happened? So that's why we're here today to have a second postmortem. We're not pointing fingers at anybody. We just want the truth. That's all. And it so happens that we have managed to get the relevant orders. You know, that the second postmortem be conducted. That uh, all documents connected to the first postmortem will be released. That uh, documents in relation to the second uh, postmortem to be released, and all police documents from the date the, the poor guy was uh, detained to be released to us as solicitors. You know, and also the judge has uh, kindly appointed Dr. Prashant, and uh, he has also ordered uh, an inquest. You know, and for the very first time, to my knowledge, we have a counsel who is going to be present during the postmortem. You know, and uh, at the second postmortem, the first pathologist will also be present with the relevant people. Right? So I believe that uh, we are going towards the right direction, and we pray to God that we get the good answers. Now. Right. So if you want this is the court order that we obtained this morning. Okay. okay. Can I just uh, show that you can take a look? This is page one. This is page two, right? Yeah, just This is a very important order. This is for the inquest.